ladies and gentlemen, it's possible that very soon Lagos is going to have a mother again. The mummy of Lagos might be released very soon because he they appeal the case for court. The judgment where the judge give, he's saying the judge does not have the right to give that kind of judgment based on what the constitution of Nigeria says. And you know that time when the thing happened, I came here and I told you that um, it is the discretion of the judge to either give Bobiski a fine or send him to jail. And the judge used his discretion and sent him to jail. But Bobiski lawyers will go bring that one part of the constitution where it shows say the judge not get the right to send him to jail. Why? Number one, Bobiski is a first time offender. He has not been charged to court for that issue before, so this is his first time. That's one. Two, he helped the court. He did not stress the court. Because normally when you bring case come court, it's going to be a long legal battle. Just wait, Kubana Shifu is a drug. He could very plead not guilty. Then the court had to drag for the next two years. But Bobiski helped the court. He pleaded guilty. Because of that, the court was supposed to temper justice with mercy. But the judge said, I ain't the one you stay do scapegoat. The judge will talk him. He wants to use him as a deterrent. Now, but with these lawyers, don't go find one part of the constitution come. We show, say the judge does not have the right to do that. Let me read you the news first. Then I will tell you, I will explain in details what that part of the constitution that they are claiming says. Controversial cross dresser and socialite. Idris Alami Waju Okune, popularly known as Bob Whiskey has filed a notion of appeal challenging his conviction on a four-count charge of minor abuse. In his notice of appeal filed by his lawyer, Bimbo Kusano, Bob Whiskey is asking the court to set aside a six-month imprisonment sentence imposed on him and replace the same with the option of a fine of 50,000 naira on each of the counts against him. On April 12, 2024, Justice Ambibola Aroboro of the Federal High Court Lagos had sentenced Bobiski to six months imprisonment without an option of fine for abusing the Nigerian currency. The judge, while sentencing the convict, said, The judgment will serve as a deterrent to others that are fond of abusing and mutilating the Naira. On April 5th, Bobiski had pleaded guilty to the four count charge preferred against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission before the court. In his notice of appeal, however, the appellant stated that the trial court imposed the maximum sentence on him despite having no previous record, criminal of conviction, and when there were options to impose a lesser sentence by the provisions of the ACJA, he submitted that the sentence imposed by the trial court is punitive contrary to the mandatory provisions of the ACJA on sentencing. The appellant also stated that the judge did not consider his positive antecedent of not wasting the precious judicial resources of the trial court when he pleaded guilty to the charge. He further stated that the appellant honored the invitation of the respondent on the first invitation during the investigation leading to the charge. Part of the decision of the lower court complained of are uh, the sentence of the lower court that imposed maximum penalty of six months imprisonment without option of fine on the appellant who is a first-time convict without previous record of criminal conviction. The learned trial judge erred in law and in fact by his imposition of the maximum sentence of the six months imprisonment terms against the appellant without option of fine contrary to the provisions of section 416 subsection 2d of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act of 2015 that prescribed the mandatory guidelines on the trial court on imposition of sentencing after criminal conviction of a first-time offender as the appellant. The trial court imposed the maximum sentence on the appellant who has no previous record criminal of conviction when there are options to impose a lesser sentence by the provisions of the ADCJA. The sentence imposed by the trial court against the appellant is punitive, contrary to the mandatory provisions of the law, ACJA, ACJA on sentencing. Now, 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 you hear say, Bobiski lawyers now they quote subsec, uh, section 416 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, subsection 2D. Let me open the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, section 416, and show you so that you will see what it says. 
Now, section 416 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, subsection 2, reads, I will read down from A to D, let's see it. It says, in exercising the discretion of sentencing or review of sentence, the court shall take into consideration the following factors in addition to the provision of the section 401 of this act. A, each case shall be treated on its own merit. B, the objective of sentencing, including the principles of reform of information shall be borne in mind in sentencing a convict. C. An appeal court may in a proper case reduce the sentence imposed by the trial court, especially where it is excessive or based on wrong principles. That means this appeal court where they go now has the right to reduce the sentence of the trial court where they don't go before. D. This is the most important one. Section 41 C subsection 2D says a trial court shall not pass the maximum sentence on a first offender. This is where Bobriski will work out. You see, now this matter can't even make me go to read the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. I have not really checked it before. A lot of lawyers too have not checked this part. Some people think Bobriski's lawyer was dull. No, it wasn't dull. Right? You get the way case would be. When your lawyer look and say, any and they go hold you for this case. And when they hold you for this case, the judgment if you say man, you pay between ten thousand to one million, and the judge figure there saying you don't stress out for two years, say man, you paid it one million. So what your lawyer will do is that he knows that the long run you will lose. So he will enter what we call a plea bargain. A plea bargain means I know I am guilty. Sorry for me. It works most times in the court of law. The judge will call, say okay because you don't waste our time, and because you be first time offender, let me give you the minimum sentence. What the lawyer was expecting in that case was a fifty thousand dollars for each count charge. ESCC gave him four count charge. That is fifty thousand times four. That is the normal way it's supposed to be, based on the fact that it's a first time offender. But the judge said, "I want to use you as a deterrent to make sure that other people don't do it again." And the judge slammed him the maximum sentence. If he fights, drag the case for two years. Now that same sentence will they give him? Now they go give him. So why? Why did he go into a plea bargain the first time? The judge did not think about it well. But now, they are going to check the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. And it clearly wrote there that subsection uh, section 416, subsection 2D, says the court cannot give maximum sentence on a first offender. I would like to hear the dates for the appeal of this case. I am sure. That the appeal court is going to set up risky free if our constitution in this country still works. All those rubbish way people they talk eh, because of because of the cause dressing. Now they want wicked. It doesn't work like that in court of law. That's called oppression. If you want to deal with him for his cause dressing, open the constitution and let's look at his cause dressing. Subsection um, 2B here clearly states that every case shall be handled on its own merit. You cannot take because of say the dress and yeah, call you a vest man. In case that is what is in the mind of the judge, that is called overshooting your power. But some of us, because we don't like Bovisky, we are supporting the nonsense. A judge is going to overshoot his power, and we are supporting it. But tomorrow, when we should turn that you go shouting and yelling in the good country, and you support the nonsense. So if the country knows that the government does not like Bovisky type of life, and you want to deal with him for it. Put it in the constitution and say it is wrong to do what you are doing. Then you charge for it. But you don't want to put it in the constitution because you don't want to offend the western world. You want to eat your cake and have it. In the western world, you want to tell them it's allowed in Nigeria. Then when you come here, you deal with people behaving like that. No. That is not right. But let's see. I'm waiting for the date of the appeal in court. Let's see how it goes.